So now in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at a low voltage cutoff module. It has a relay here that the module turns on or off as needed, depending on the supply voltage. So we're gonna simulate a battery. That's typically what these are used for. We're gonna simulate uh, basically four series lithium ion batteries, which will be above 16 volts when they're fully charged. And uh, we're gonna start off at 16 volts. Now we're powering a, a green LED and it has a 1,500 ohm resistor, a high value because this is a lot of voltage. So the resistor is getting up pretty hot, even with that higher value. And we have it on. Normally, these relays let you use a lot more power, but we're gonna keep this video simple. We're just gonna power a, a green LED. And works the same at the high currents. You just need a thicker wiring and all that. But in any case, we're going to uh, lower this discharging if you have four series lithium ion batteries, you don't want to drop below 12 volts, about three volts each, and because uh, their voltages add up when they're in series. So I have it set for 12.1 volts to shut off, but there you can see slightly above that, it's shut off. And uh, the relay module, the uh, green LED turned to red right there. So you got a visual there to let you know it got cut off if your load isn't obvious, if it's on or off. So now, Technically, we don't have to do anything to turn it back on other than give it enough voltage right there. And so the other setting I have it set for is the uh, reconnect, and we'll look at that in closer detail coming up. I actually set it to 12.8, uh, but I have to get up to about 13 for some reason to uh, finally turn it on. But that's close enough, and uh, we can go up to uh, 16. So this isn't the best relay, but I think it's the simplest to understand, so I figured I would use it for the demonstration. So here you can see the load, pretty straightforward. I turn the power supply off, so you don't have that blinding green light. We have the short lead, the cathode to the negative side there, and a long lead, the anode to the resistor. Again, 1,500 ohms because of this high voltage, and that goes to the uh, positive side right there. You can see we got V minus and V plus. Over here, we have the uh, two jumper cables I got for the uh, power supply right there. I have to be careful not to short them, other than the power supply is off right now, but when it's on, we don't want to short those. And here's a look without the wires in the way. Clearly battery there, load there, V plus. When the relay is on, it's uh, connected across there. Now the uh, V minus, these two, and all you gotta do is put the wire in and uh, screw it down. The uh, V minus on both sides are always connected right there. So be aware of that, that's V plus and that's V plus. Uh, that side the load. That side the battery. Now we got uh, the relay. So according to this, and uh, I think usually when they're selling them, this will be the number that they, they give you, 125 volts alternating current up to uh, 12 amps and a higher voltage, uh, 10 amps right there. And uh, so if you're using a 12 volt DC, that's uh, what controls the relay, 12 volt DC right there it looks like. Um, then you can uh, probably go up to about uh, 10 amps uh, just fine. I wouldn't uh, push it too high, but uh, who knows. Now, we have uh, the reconnect and the disconnect setting pretty straightforward. They're just uh, little uh, manual switches right here. And so that's where I got it flipped to a disconnect 12.1. As we saw, it took a little bit more, but pretty close. And then over there, 12.8. And uh, so we could change that just by sliding that back and sliding one of the other ones forward. Pretty straightforward. Again, this is a, a simpler module than uh, I got at least one other one that's a uh, digital. But here you can see a green LED connected, red LED disconnected, and uh, that's pretty straightforward. So, in any case, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.